How's it going, guys? We're going to have a very short clip here. This is past level. Some of you will think this is too easy. That's fine. Okay, but very high yield question for USMLE. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now, let's start the clip. 66 year old man, three day history of lower abdominal cramping, watery stool. 10 days ago, he was prescribed oral ciprofloxacin for prostatitis. Question wants to know the most likely organism type, method of diagnosis, and treatment for this patient's condition. This is pseudomembranous colitis. It's going to be the sequence of a patient who's been on antibiotics generally over seven to 10 days, followed by diarrhea of some kind, okay? Now, diarrhea can be normal following antibiotic use. However, when a patient has excessive diarrhea, USMLE wants you to know that C. difficile, Clostridium difficile, pseudomembranous colitis, spell difficile, okay? And it need not be watery. It can be bloody with cramping. I've seen that on the two CKIM forms that way. So as I said, not going to be a lengthy clip. Let's just look at the answer choices. You need to know Clostridium difficile is a grand positive rob. Okay, nothing dramatic. And now as, as far as the method of diagnosis is concerned, Stool culture, wrong fucking answer, okay? You need to know it's stool toxin, stool AB toxin test, very high yield, not stool culture. And then the treatment as of February 2018 is just straight up oral vancomycin, not metronidazole anymore, okay? It used to be a nice fancy algorithm where, you know, you'd use drugs, these drugs at different times. No, now it's just oral vancomycin. So the answer, gram positive rod, stool toxin, and vancomycin. Now, one quick point I can make to provide extra value is that we give oral vancomycin, not IV for this treatment, okay? Now, vancomycin has really shitty oral bioavailability, meaning it's not absorbed through the GI tract well. So when we give it classically for a condition such as endocarditis, which would be empiric gentamicin plus vanc, or meningitis, ceftriaxone and vanc, there's a myriad of uses, we give it IV. But for C. difficile, we give it oral because we want it to stay confined to the GI tract. That makes sense. Okay, so they ask that on step one as well. They say, like, why is the treatment oral? And you just need to know vancomycin has poor, poor oral bioavailability. And that's a good thing in this case, slash because we are treating C. diff. Okay, you know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.